If Nanaimo's downtown seems a little quiet, it may be related to how people are feeling about it. Nanaimo RCMP has released the results of safety audits in six communities in the city, and it shows many people are feeling less safe. The common theme is people are scared. People think that crime is on the rise. They believe that, that it's not safe to, to come downtown. 72% of people living downtown said they feel unsafe walking outside alone at night. Among the downtown residents feeling less safe is Brian Rice. Just two weeks ago, he asked a homeless person making noise late at night outside his Robart Street home to quiet down. And this guy came around the corner like really fast and he had two sticks in his hands and caught me right here and split my head open. So yeah, kind of scary. And that's coming from a 200 pound man with a martial arts background. I can't imagine what, you know, elderly people, uh, you know, people who, who are, you know, a little more vulnerable, how they must feel out there because I actually feel unsafe now. Nanamo's mayor says he's not surprised by the safety audit results with so many suffering from drug addictions and mental health issues on the streets. Uh, to some extent, some are incorrigible. Un until we step up as a province, as a country, and deal with that issue in a serious way, we're not going to see dramatic improvements. BC's mental health and addictions minister says the pandemic has increased homelessness, but her ministry is adding addiction treatment beds, sobering beds, affordable housing, and plans for a new type of super supportive housing for those hard to house. They tend to get evicted from supportive housing, but then they're still on the street and creating disruption in neighborhoods. It's a terrible way to live for them, and it's very hard on neighbors. And so we're going to try to get something piloted you know, as early in this new year as we can. Sheila Malcolmson says she and her colleagues certainly feel the urgency of the situation and say they understand the status quo is not acceptable.